So, INQ just announced a massive new project with the United States Air Force Research Lab, and it's worth a pretty nice amount too, $21.1 million. So as always, it seems like INQ is leading the charge once again. So let's break it all down, including why this could be the spark that pushes INQ into profitability. So let's talk about this. But first, the basics. INQ has teamed up with the Air Force Research Lab to advance secure quantum networking, a world where communication is not only instantaneous, but unhackable. And the Air Force isn't just throwing money at this for fun. They're betting big on INQ's technology to pave the way for secure communications that could redefine military and civilian networks. And this matters because quantum networking is like the holy grail of secure communication, because regular encryption protocols can eventually be hacked, even if it might take a while. But with quantum entanglement, yeah right, any attempt to intercept or hack instantly disrupts the data. And you can kind of think of intercepting quantum encrypted data like searching for a needle in a haystack, except the moment you get close, the needle dissolves into thin air and reappears somewhere else in the stack. Every attempt to find it just scrambles the entire system. So why is INQ involved in all this? Well, it's all about their trapped ion technology. Unlike other quantum systems that rely on superconducting qubits, INQ's approach is said to be more stable and scalable which is absolutely necessary when you're trying to build a secure network that can handle real-world conditions. And the Air Force Lab choosing INQ over other serious players in the quantum space is a pretty serious vote of confidence. Now, in regards to money, in all honesty, INQ has been burning cash, as most early-stage tech companies do. But projects like this, with a $21.1 million price tag, provide more than just funding. They offer validation, credibility, and more importantly, a roadmap to profitability. Imagine governments and corporations lining up for secure quantum networks. The revenue potential here could be astronomical. And this isn't just a win for INQ either. It's a win for quantum networking as a whole because it signals another slow but gradual shift from cool lab experiments to real world scalable applications. And as for the Air Force, they're basically saying, we trust INQ to lead. And if INQ pulls this off, they'll be able to attract more contracts and partnerships. And for investors in INQ, this project is kind of like seeing the first ripple of a tidal wave. INQ's stock has been extremely volatile, and I think it will remain that way for a while. But it's the slow buildup of these kind of contracts that could help stabilize their trajectory. It's tangible proof of market demand. Plus, as quantum computing scales, Early leaders like INQ will stand to dominate a market projected to hit multiple billions of dollars by 2030. However, there's still a lot of skepticism in the quantum computing space. Even NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, recently shared his conservative timelines. So to check out when he believes quantum computers will be mainstream, watch this video next. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.